So three more races to go, including this one. Let's take you through your grid for the final on the last day of the season for the senior Rotax division. So our four-time BNL Karting Series champion, Kai Rilatz, starts from pole position and he's got his countryman, Luca Lystra, alongside Sean Butcher, will be on the inside of row number two, ahead of Jaden Thien with Eha Turka, Paul Fokema, Dylan LaHaye, Lewis Gilbert, Lachlan Robinson and Aaron Balster rounding out the top ten. Janis Diak, Farin Mega, Job Briefeld, Aliska Babichkova, Dejs Dams, Petra Babichkova, Devian Horst, Gussi van Gop, Nikita Genza and Scott Westhovens ran at the top 20. With Martin Geiskens, Enzo van den Diggerberg, then we've got Jort van Weyck, Alec Verbaert, Paul Christian Hamburg, Sem van Thiel, Rune de Broeke, Boris Koisman, Zekai Ozen, Luciano Schneider and Sam Bergstein, Jori Schoens completing the grid. So both Sam Bergstein and Jori Schoens were excluded post the pre-final. And it was found to be that both carts were excluded for being underweight post the pre-final earlier on. So the driver's now starting to tighten up in formation ahead of their final 13-minute race plus an additional lap of the season. Gielitz has already been confirmed as champion, but it's the battle for second and third. Who's going to get there first? Into the tram lines, revs rise. We are lights out another way. Good start by Kai Gielitz as he leads the field into turns one and two. Butcher trying to get through on the inside of Luca Leistra and does so. They had Turka looking to try and get up into the top three. Jaden Thien, who is battling for fourth in the championship with the likes of Paul Fokema, hoping, and Hillitz and Butcher swap places. Hillitz then gets through to retake the lead through turn seven. So the pressure is off Hillitz for this final race of the championship season. Farin Mega getting into battle lines and that is with Eliska Babichkova and Farin Mega is ahead then decides to send it up the inside more than likely going to be on Yanni Stiak and that was through turn 10 Hillitz retakes the lead Jaden Thien gets passed by Dylan LaHaye going through into turn 12 Lewis Gilbert gets uh, well Lachlan Robinson went out the out well Lachlan Robinson just took a page out of Joe Turney's work around the outside at turn number 12 so he managed to get past, I think, uh, Gilbert, Fokima and Stiak all at the same roll of the dice. And now Jaden Thien trying to go side pod to side pod with Dylan Hay. Oh, and Fokima has dropped the ball. He, 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 I think he outbreaks himself going through into turn number seven and went very, very wide indeed. So that has uh, possibly denied him a chance at P4 in the championship. So leading the way and now, the, now it's a fight. Now it's a fight. Butcher deciding, right, let's go for it. And Lystra goes through and Ehad Turka makes it three wide, tries to get through on Lystra and Hilatz. Hill, it's now down to fourth place. But sure, Butcher with an inspired, just like, right, 
Let's go for it. There is the noisy exhaust out on track, which I've just heard. So I think someone will be pulling it into the pit lane very, very shortly, because otherwise that will be pinged with a, a mechanical black flag. And Paul Fokima, as a result of that off-track moment, has dropped out of the points. So Sean Butcher now leads the way. And that sounds possibly like that might have been Enzo, well, it might be Enzo van der Dickenberg in the number 352. Oh yeah, that definitely is. That definitely is. That Sodi Carter's got no baffles on it, it sounds like. If you had a decibel meter at the end of that exhaust, I think they probably would have uh, said no, that's going to fail. So there might have been a little bit of an incident maybe with uh, Sam Bergstein in the 319. It was all the way down the order. And now there's a squabble here. Oh, here we go. So nine minutes and 15 seconds still to go. Butcher now leads by nearly five and a half tenths of a second ahead of Lystra. They had Turkey in third. Kai Hillitz running at the top four, now trying to get through. Oh, and uh, Turkey's countryman, Zekai Olsen, is uh, off the circuit. And it is, it is a confirmed mechanical black flag for Enzo van den Dickerberg with that noisy exhaust. That's now flashing like a good one on the digi flag. Jaden Thien has got a tap from behind courtesy of Dylan LaHaye. With Lewis Gilbert. And now there is a bit of a train forming behind the Pride of Scotland. Nikita Genzi, Janis Diak, Lachlan Robinson, Adam Falster. Bit of a send there from firing Mega up the inside. This will be more like uh, Devian Rost or Thais Dams. Jaden Thien gets back past on Dylan LaHaye. So does Lewis Gilbert through turn 12. So Jaden Thien makes good his intentions and now goes up into fifth place. So with five minutes completed, we've got just eight to go. Now Lewis Gilbert trying to pull alongside. That is Nikita Genza. They're battling for sixth place behind Jaden Thien. They get through. Robinson's got Janis Diak just behind, but he's also got Dylan LaHaye in front. So with seven and a half minutes to go, there's a move there, up the inside through turn 12. Villets now back through on Erhard Turka for third place. As a little bit further back, we turn our attention to the likes of Denis Ross, uh, Farin Mega, who ran at the top 15. Lisa Babichkova in the meantime, she's now moved up into 11th position. So wherever she finishes now, she finishes third in the championship. And what's more, along with the fact that Sean Butcher and Kaya Hillitz qualified for this year's grand finals in Portimao through the Euro Trophy, Galiska will be handed the ticket to represent the Czech Republic at Portimao this year. And now, oh, right. Got some interesting moves up and down the order. Lewis Gilbert trying to get through on Jaden Thien. And now here comes the Hornet's Nest. One of which was, uh, looks like Scott Westhoven's is being assisted from behind by the 398 of Taze Dams. And then through, I think might have gotten possibly Jody Schoens. That was the case. Adam Valster gets through. Then the 343. And that's Gustav Van Gogh from GKS. Oh, I've just noticed that someone has got a front Nassau that is a bit askew to the right hand side. Possibly might be a Boovin power cart. 
Ah, that is the one. Uh, that was probably Alec Verberks who's behind Gustav van Gop at the moment. That is the... Oh, yes, it's definitely a skew to the left-hand side. Oh, and a touch between Gustav van Gop and the 370 of Sen van Til. Scott Westhoven tries to avoid. And that, that front Nassau panel of Alec Verberks is flapping, flapping all over the place. It's, it's, it's definitely gone to the left-hand side. So whether a, a washer or a bolt or a nut has come loose. And now Kai Hillitz makes his way back past the likes of Ehad Turka. And as Robinson gets a good run coming out of turn number six. I think it's just gotten past Nikita Genza. That will be for possibly more than likely seventh position. And Lachlan Robinson looks like he's looks like he's piggy in the middle at the moment. Oh, Lewis Gilbert off and in uh, touch with the barriers, turned it in, back end stepped out to the right hand side. And the Scotsman has hit the starter button, and that's his weekend over. I'm afraid. So there is a train forming, and Jaden Thien is in part of it. Looks like Lockman Robinson. Well, Robinson now up into P5 and getting away. Oh, bit of a touch there. Now that was between possibly Janish Diak and maybe Eliska Babichkova. So just under four minutes plus an additional lap still to go. Drivers making their way through turn nine. Jaden Thien now back ahead of Dylan. Well, it looks like Dylan LaHaye. LaHaye's had a bit of a shocker. He calls himself Mr. Genk from time to time if he's uh, fighting the sharp end of the field. But Lachlan Robinson finished ninth in the pre-final. And he's uh, taken another... Well, he's going to take, effectively, another 11 points here. Oh, and the most coveted rule of being a teammate is just being broken unfortunately between two of the dams racing carts because Adam Valster out after an incident with teammate Yori Schoens in the 365. So Valster out on the spot bringing his uh, weekend to a premature end. Sean Butcher still leading but Rilatz is closing in fastest lap of the race however goes to the 345 of the Netherlands Devian Horst with a 54.379 there's quite a few drivers trying to make their way through turns 3, 4 and 5 as we speak or as I speak um, the likes of Janis Diak Nikita Genza, and they've got someone in the middle of them. Possibly might be Des Dams in the number 398. I think Martin Gaiskins and uh, René de Broeke need to not have so much close proximity to each other. Remember what happened yesterday afternoon, guys. But now... Kai Gilatz, who this season, four wins at the opening round, and he's had two this weekend. And he's now trying to make the switch back on Sean Butcher. Butcher looks over his right shoulder. Gilatz decides to back out of it, and he goes to the outside through turn seven. Zekai Ozen is just about, well, we, oh, well Adam Valster is out. Zekai Ozen, the last of the drivers on the circuit at the moment. As we're going to head into three more laps to go. Hillett swings to the outside. Butcher shuts the door through turn 12. Across the line they go. Two, well, three more laps remaining. Hillett's now trying to look to see if he can go one way or the other up the inside. 
Not through to turn two. This is bringing both Lystra and Turka through. Now Rilla, so gets a little bit, oh. I think, well, he was trying to make the move up the inside of Sean Butcher. And now who is that around the outside? That's Luca Lystra. Rilla decides, well, I'm gonna send it up the inside of you there. That's to back out of it through T7. As we've got just over 20 seconds to go. So through turn number 12, once again. He literally crossed, Sean Butcher crossed the line with next to nothing on the timer remaining. Luca Lystra now makes it through to take the lead. Hillitz now drops behind Ehad Turka. And the 374 remains in fourth position, swings to the outside. Butcher now makes his way through on Lystra. Uh, Turka trying to get through there as well so it doesn't give an opportunity for Lystra unless he tries to hang it around the outside it's a bit brave and he manages to do it and Rillitz just holds station so the timer has run out after this we'll have one more lap to go So the last lap board out for the senior Rotax season here in the BNL Karting Series. And Sean Butcher from KR Sport leads the way. Second is Luca Lystra. Third is Erhard Turka. Fourth is confirmed champion Kai Gilets from Belgium. Devin Horst rounds out the top five ahead of Lachlan Robinson, Dylan LaHaye, Eliska Babichkova now up into a genuine eighth position. which pretty much assures her that when she comes across the line, no matter where she finishes in this race, she will be third on the rostrum. But more importantly, we'll get that ticket to the grand finals in Portimao. As we are coming to the conclusion of what's been an interesting and exciting senior Rotax season once again. One more corner remains, and out of it comes the outgoing champion, the 301, Sean Butcher, who can hold his head up high and takes the win, and he said it's about time. And Kai Hillet celebrating because he knows that's it. He's done the job he's needed to do, and he's won a fourth title. And there he is. Youngster, based not too far outside of these hallowed circuit walls but Sean Butcher takes the final race win of the season by just over four and a half tenths of a second ahead of Luca Leisra with Eher Turka taking his best finish of the season in third and there is your fourth place finisher and your 2022 senior road tax champion Kai Gilatz Devian Hurst, Lachlan Robinson, Dylan LaHaye Eliska Babichkova will take third in the championship and with it comes a ticket to the grand finals uh, as Butcher and Kielitz have already qualified. Jaden Thien rounds out the top nine ahead of Paul Fokima with Janis Diak, Nikita Genza, Dez Dams, Farin Mega, Jori Schoens, Job Briedfeld, Petra Babichkova, Gussie van Gop, Scott Westhovens, Martin Geiskens rounding out the top 20. Jort van Wyk, uh, Rune de Broeke, Alec Verbergt, Sam van Thiel, Loris Koisman, Paul Christian Hamburg, Luciano Schneider, and Zekai Ozen running out the 28 that made it to the flag with Annan Valster out on lap 10, Lewis Gilbert out on lap 8, Enzo van den Dickenberg with a noisy exhaust on lap 4 and Sam Bergstein out on the second lap.